Scientists, it's Viviana and today I'm going to be sharing with you major, huge, terrible mistakes we can make while wearing protective styles. Look at this one just hanging out there. Yeah. <laughs> Not doing a protein treatment before putting in that protective style. Terrible! Now, natural hair naturally doesn't need a lot of protein in your hair. However, when you're going to be putting in protective styles, having your hair locked in for a long time, and you're going to be putting on extra weight onto your hair, you need to kind of straighten it up, you know, get it ready, get it prepared. So you need to add that protein treatment before you add that weight. Number two, come on, time for confession. How many of you go to the hairdresser to get your hair braided? They blow dry straight, okay, so that they can blend in your natural hair with the braids, fine and dandy, but then they don't moisturize your hair before putting in that braids, or they don't use heat protectant. Huge mistake. Come on, your hair is gonna be locked in under some hair, whether it be human hair or plastic, for a at least two weeks, okay? And you're gonna not even moisturize it before? Really? Dry hair breaks. Brittle hair breaks. It's also important to moisturize while you have in your braids. Your hair is still getting dry and it's still craving moisture. Dry hair breaks, so moisturize it. Number three. The arrow above all arrow, above all mistakes, above all Dang girl, don't do it. You pull your edges way too tight. If you're walking out of the salon looking like you just did a mini facelift, your eyebrows up here, touching your little baby hairs, your edges too tight. If you can see your scalp starting to wrinkle, your edges too tight. If you start seeing those little white bumps coming around each of your braid, it's too tight. How are you going to braid up your hair and then you can't sleep good at night time? It's too tight. If the section that the braid is hanging on to is this small and the braid is this big, too much weight, it don't fit. Dang girl, don't do it. Number four, you leave your hair dirty for way too long. Girl, if you walk your own, beating down your head as if your head make out a brick wall, huge mistake. Your hair is dirty, go wash that hair. And if you don't know how to clean your hair, I have a video linked right here and down below showing you three ways to clean your hair with protective styles. Dirty hair blocks your follicles, causes buildup, and will also prevent your hair from growing. Terrible! Number five, do not, I repeat, do not go home and then say you're gonna be styling those braids. That hair can hardly move and then you're going to take your hair and try to put it up into a high bun. Don't make that mistake. I personally do not feel comfortable doing any kind of style other than having your hair hang down before two weeks. At two weeks, you have probably grown at least a quarter inch of hair, so the braid is not so stuck on your scalp. Unless, of course, you did crochet braids and your hair is actually braided and then the hair on top is loose. But other than that, leave the hair alone. Leave the braids to hang. The Senegalese twist, the box braids, the four locks. Give your hair a chance to actually grow out before you start to style it. Trust me, you can avoid a lot of breakage that way. Dang girl, don't do it. This channel is about hair, beauty, and fun. This is this is one of the fun videos. Didn't we have fun? 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 <laughs> okay, beauties, later. From straight mid back length hair to this, you can imagine I got quite the reaction. Oh my god, you look at your hair! Why? And my most favorite way to just clean my scalp is to just get right to cleaning my scalp. And this way of cleaning your scalp does not include water, which for me 